simplify, and then express your answer without negative exponents. Okay, let's work through each of these uh, very carefully. So the first one here is x cubed times y to the negative 4, and it's being raised to the negative 1 power. So I'm going to show every single step. So whenever you have something like this, you basically raise each piece to the negative 1 power. So it'd be x cubed, and then this whole thing to the negative 1, and then y to the negative 4, and then this whole thing to the negative 1. So whenever you have multiplication like this, and it's being raised to a power, you just raise each individual piece. Now it has to be multiplication, right? It won't work with addition, so only when it's times. Just for reference, the rule is if you have, say, a, b to the n, that's a to the n, b to the n. That's the rule that we're using there. This next rule says that whenever we have uh, something to a power to a power, we multiply the powers. So this will just be 3 times negative 1, so x to the negative 3, and then negative 1 times negative 4, so that'll be y to the 4. Whoops, y to the 4. Messed up there. <laughs> x to the negative 3, y to the 4. Okay. And it says to leave no negative exponents in our answers. So what we can do is we can bring the x downstairs and write it like this. And we know that that makes the exponent positive. And you can leave it like this, or if you like, you can put the y upstairs and write it as y to the 4 over x to the 3. And you can do that because this is really over 1, and so you can just multiply across and get this. All right, and that's it. That would be that one there. For this next one, same thing. We're going to use a rule that says if you have a over b to the n, this is the same thing as a to the n over b to the n. So in this case here, it'll be y to the 4 to the negative 3 over and then x to the negative 1 to the negative 3. And then now we use the same rule we used before. If you have a power to a power, you just multiply. So we get y to the, let's see, negative 3 times 4 is negative 12. And on the bottom we have negative 3 times negative 1 is 3. We're almost there. We just can't leave negative exponents. So what we can do is we can bring the y downstairs, and it'll make the exponent positive. So this will be 1 over y to the 12, x to the 3. And that would be the final answer. I hope this video has been helpful.